Hi, this is a BiteWiser.com blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple, low-poly cartoon house. And it's actually going to be a four-part series, uh, pretty much due in, in part to the fact that I can only record up to 20 minutes worth of video before uh, Camp Studio crashes on me. Uh, if any of you know about uh, Camp Studio, you know that um, at least there's a fix for it that I'm not aware of. Uh, once you record a video over two gigs in length, uh, it it doesn't work. So, um, yeah, I'm going to split this up into four units. Uh, this first one, which is this video, I'm going to show you how to make the frame of the house, a door, and uh, the doorknobs. And we'll, we'll do a lot more at the house later. Um, but the type of house I'm going to make, I'll, I'll just kind of draw it real quick here with the uh, grease pencil, but it'll it'll kind of be like this like that style of house and it'll be square you know something something along those lines there so um, I'm just gonna go and uh, erase all that and then we can get started and okay so uh, let's right click on our cube here and go into edit mode I want to press A to select everything and shift and click on one vertice uh, and delete all the rest because I want to take that vertice and I'm going to move that to uh, 0 Z units, negative 4 Y units, and 4 X units. This is going to be an 8x8 house and later on once I'm done setting up uh, all the vertices I'm going to extrude out of here. Uh, we'll have a, well, yeah, we'll have an 8x8 house uh, once I use a mirror modifier. So uh, let's start extruding towards the y-axis so we're going to be going along the x-axis here so hit E X and negative 0.05 now just move it just a little bit but we need that for the corner for the shading so it doesn't look too off and now let's go the rest of the way to uh, the the x equals 3 uh, I guess axis or whatever you want to call it there so uh, E X negative 0.95 and now we can go uh, one unit uh, in one unit increments until we get to the y-axis. So EX negative 1, EX negative 1, EX negative 1. And now we'll go back to this corner guy here. And we'll do the same thing, but only we'll go towards the x-axis uh, along the y-axis there. So um, EY.05, EY.95. Uh, well, that was 0.96. Uh, EY.95, EY1, EY1, and EY1. So now we got this all set up here. So it looks kind of like that. Well, that looks terrible with the grid lines, but um, I'm going to go and add a mirror modifier now. And I'm going to duplicate, well, I'm going to mirror it across both the X and Y. Uh, axes so that uh, we get the square and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, take all these so I'm gonna hit a so I get all the vertices and I'm gonna extrude those up in uh, one unit increments uh, along the z-axis so we'll hit easy one easy one easy one easy one and I'll zoom out a little bit here and that's looking kind of okay. I mean, it's it's a box, I guess, without the excuse me, without the top and bottom, but uh, we'll get there. Um, the next thing that we can do is we can go ahead and move this up. Um, the very peak of this house, you know, the triangular part uh, of of the top of the house is going to be another four Z units up. So we'll. We'll go and we'll hit G Z one, or sorry, uh, G Z four, and this guy will be G Z three, G Z two, G Z one, and this guy would be G Z point zero five, and that'll give it a nice straight line there. And you can see the frame of our house is uh, just about done. Um, 
but there are a few things that we still need to do. We need to kind of uh, even out uh, the boxes here, the uh, the quads that we have, uh, at least uh, from what I found it, from a shading standpoint, they need to be a little more even so they don't look awkward. So um, what you want to do is go to uh, connected, well actually enable, uh, this will enable the uh, proportional uh, editing. And I'm just going to go and hit G, Z, I'm going to move that guy up a little bit and I'm going to scroll my mouse down, the middle mouse button down, so that these guys can kind of move a little bit. And it's just a little bit too much because you can see right here that this part of the house is starting to move. So let's move that up just a little bit. And that's probably okay. Uh, let's go and disable the proportional editing. And let's move uh, all the guys along the bottom here back down to zero. So, uh, uh, it, uh, with a Z value of zero. So, or Z if you're in any other part of the world, I guess. So let's make sure these are all zero. And yeah, very good. So that's, that's more or less what we want. Um, let's go ahead and uh, click smooth shading. And so we got something here that doesn't look uh, too terrible, but it's not too good yet. Um, actually, what I want to do here is uh, Control Alt Zero so I can uh, see everything. I'm going to hit G and uh, click the middle mouse and zoom back a little bit. And G Z just so I can get this right in the center of my picture. There. So. There's what it renders as right now. Uh, obviously, I need to bring this light over as well. And now we can see the house a little bit better. Not too bad. So let's get out of camera mode by pressing zero. And now we can start to work on the door, which the door really is not too hard at all. Um, what you want to do for the door really is just go ahead and click on these guys here. Just select those guys and press P and separate by selection. And there's your door. It's a little cartoon door. but um, And right now, if you were to render this, you wouldn't even be able to tell where that door was. So uh, temporarily, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and... Oh, actually, that, that was probably a bad idea because I mirrored that door being created. So I'm going to go back here and... Now we, we just have the frame of the house. Actually, I should go in and name that cube. So we'll call that frame. And I'm going to go in, and since I'm done with the, the house here, uh, I'm going to mirror that, or apply the uh, mirror modifier. And so now I can go in, go into edit mode, and go and select these vertices here, and hit P, separate by selection. Now, what I can do is uh, go in and name that guy Door. And uh, let's give him a color just so we can tell uh, that door from the rest. So we'll call the material Door. And let's just for now, just a, a simple material. <laughs> let's just make him a, a brownish color. So kind of do something like that. It's not too bad. And now let me go and uh, we'll go and uh, change this guy, the material for the frame of the house, and we'll call that frame. And let's go and make that um, make that a, a greenhouse. Let's make it a greenhouse. Something like that. Maybe with a little more brightness to it. Okay, so there's our house right now. So let's go ahead now, and uh, I'm going to hide the frame of the house by pressing H, and now I'm going to click on the door. What I want to do is give this uh, door a little bit of depth so that when we open and close the door, it doesn't look like uh, a 2D piece of uh, material moving around, rotating around uh, the door's uh, hinges. So. Um, 
I'm just going to go into edit mode and extrude along the uh, Y axis, E, Y, and I don't know how far, we'll just say uh, 0.05, that seems to be a pretty safe number. And so, no, so now we got a door that has a little bit of a thickness, not a whole lot, but it's enough, it's what we need, at least for now anyways. So I'm going to bring back the frame of the house, and you can see there's a little bit of thickness, just to show you, just a little bit there. And uh, let's get started on the doorknobs. So all I'm going to do is do Control A, go to Mesh, and uh, UV Sphere, and that guy's right over there. And I'm just going to move him over here, do a smooth on that, and scale him down quite a bit until it looks right. I, I didn't really measure this out but it's a cartoon house so really it can be whatever size you want it to be and uh, I'm gonna move this along the y-axis until it butts up the against the side of the house and then I'm gonna move it along the x-axis here to get it over by the door and then I'll bring it down just a little bit that's pretty decent maybe a little bit big so I'll scale that down just a little bit and uh, let me make sure this is still flat up against the house. I'm going to go into orthogonal mode so I can see that better. And you can see there's a gap there. Um, so just move that again along the uh, y-axis. There, that, that's good. And now we'll want to actually name that. So we'll name that door knob underscore outer and uh, let's duplicate that guy so do a shift D and move it along the Y axis until we don't really see him anymore actually it'd be better if we uh, let's go ahead and hide the frame of the house again and uh, there we go G Y okay so there's there's the doorknobs. Let's give that a little bit of color. So um, make a new material, call it doorknob, and uh, we'll give it a color of uh, some sort of brassy kind of color. Somewhere around here, a little bit darker. That looks good. Turn up the intensity. Uh, turn down the, well, turn up the specularity just a little bit. And uh, with, with most things, it seems that uh, when you do shininess, you want to go white with that. But with metal, you want it to be uh, a less intense version of the color that you made it. So um, I'll do something like this. Maybe a little bit darker here. So that, that looks a little more metallic. And you can fiddle with that. But um, let's go ahead and uh, do the same for that doorknob so that they're both the same color. And uh, let's name the inside doorknob um, doorknob inner. Okay. Now I'll do an Alt H to bring back the house. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent both of these doorknobs to the door so you go and click on the inner doorknob press shift click on the outer doorknob shift again to select the door and hit control P and set parent to object so now anytime you were to say rotate this across the Z axis the doorknobs move uh, sorry the yeah the doorknobs move with the door um, so uh, that's very good and we'll need to adjust where the uh, origin of the door is. So let's go and uh, do that now. We'll go ahead and uh, press 1 so we can look at the front of the house. And let's zoom in and we'll put our uh, 3D cursor right there. Uh, we'll say that that's at 3, negative 1.6, and zero actually the y value is going to have to change by a whole heck of a lot so uh, we'll move that there 
and that's actually one negative four. Do that right there. Actually, what we want to do is we want to put that right here. So it'll be a little bit different. It'll be uh, negative 3.94, actually 3.95. There we go. And make that x value 1. So that's where our... Uh, I'm upside down. Um, that is not what I wanted. I want to put that right here. So that's, again, negative 3.95. And the x value is, we'll say, 3. And that's where we want it. Okay, because we want the door to rotate right around here. So let's go ahead, since we're in object mode, do Control alt shift c and uh, we want to do uh, Origin to 3D Cursor, and there you go. So now when we do R, we rotate around the Z axis. You can see it moves nice and smoothly. Escape out of that. And now we can wrap this up by going and uh, taking the door and parenting that to the house. So you click the door and then press shift and click on the house and do another control P set parent to object so now whenever we move the house whoop, wrong button whenever we move the house the door moves with it so there we have it right now that's where our house is right now um, in the next video that we have I'm gonna show you how to put on the roof and how to make a door frame to go around here. Um, so stay tuned for the next video. Uh, in the meantime, you can come and visit BiteWiser.com. See you later.